<laughs> well, this is easily going to be one of my most interesting videos because the onset of weird news all around and the possible super excitement we might uncover in this video, I think you guys will leave with your emotions high and maybe even low. With all that said, we're going to cover Apex Legends and if it got leaked too early, Cyberpunk delayed yet again, Capcom and Perfect World Entertainment are coming to Stadia, and State Share finally revealed in action and much, much more. So let's get into this video. Let me preface this big news by saying this hasn't been confirmed quite yet. But well, I have my suspicions about what's happening here and what has become a strange story, probably the strangest that I've covered all year. A Washington Post article dropped news that Apex Legends was coming to Stadia. Now, EA had a showcase of games yesterday in which they revealed that the Nintendo Switch of all consoles is going to be getting Apex Legends in the fall. And well, if you would have seen my face when I heard that, I was bewildered to say the least and scratching my head and wondering why the flying poop happened to not be a Stadia announcement. But then this strange article comes out from a pair of writers who then retracted what was written and had this to say in the process, and I quote, We had a pre-brief with EA before the conference, where they told us it was coming to Stadia. This was false. We just followed up with them and the article's been corrected. Sorry about that. Not only that, but she even doubled down and wrote, and I quote, Yes, I'd have to go back to watch the conference to see if it's mentioned there too. But this was confirmed to us by EA beforehand. Now listen, I'm not trying to start a hashtag Apex Stadia gate, but I think this was a case of someone at EA just didn't get the memo not to let the cat out of the bag too early, especially with a July 14th connect in a month. But once again, let me say this isn't some official confirmation that Apex Legends is coming to Stadia. And well, by now, if you're a Stadia owner, I think you have to do your best not to get your hopes up too high because we've been let down before quite a bit and I'm definitely going to err on the side of caution. But this was pretty encouraging to me because of the timing of the connect and the fact that an EA rep told these writers specifically that Apex Legends was coming to Stadia. I mean, to say the word Stadia in a debrief is just too specific for me. I mean, could someone slip up so bad and it actually not be true? Did some person just have Stadia on their mind and it slipped in a massive error? I feel that is just too unlikely and I obviously believe both of these people because they both heard the exact same thing as shown by both of their tweets. There is just too much of a coincidence there and the fact that it's coming to the puny switch just blew me away. But on the bright side, if Apex Legends is headed to Stadia, this will easily be one of its biggest titles by default. And well, I have my own thoughts on how this game should actually be rolled out onto Stadia. But the other cool news to come out of this showcase by EA is that Apex Legends is actually going to have crossplay with every single platform. Xbox, PS4, PC, the Switch, and well, hopefully Stadia. So we won't have an issue finding other players. At this point now, as EA is a Stadia partner, it's making way too much sense that we're about to see Apex Legends, but once again, don't get your hopes up too high, just in case, as my heart can take another heartbreak after the Cyberpunk news. But segueing perfectly into our next news as Cyberpunk 2077 got delayed yet again, folks. But this time, it's not a Stadia-specific delay, but a general delay to everyone. They go on to mention in a press release that they decided to move the launch from September 17th to November 19th and that they won't ship something which is not ready. Interestingly enough, they go on to mention that journalists from all over the world are already playing the game and that they're interested in hearing their opinions which I find somewhat odd but okay. I actually reached out myself to CD Projekt Red and was met with a response that it was too early for a copy of the game and that they will contact me in the future if they can provide it in the future. So I guess I personally wasn't big enough, but it will be interesting to see what these journalists find while playing the game that I'm most excited for this year. 
But overall, what does that mean for Stadia? That is kind of the ultimate question here. And the best answer I can give all of you is just don't expect it this year, despite the fact they mentioned we would get it at the end of the year in a previous press release. At this point, it's almost safe to assume we won't even see Cyberpunk 2077 until next year. So with that said, be subscribed like always so I can break that news to you exactly when Cyberpunk is coming to Google Stadia. But all right, moving on to our next piece of news, we finally hear from Capcom and a new player in town in Perfect World Entertainment. A pair of job listings for both of these were uncovered with Capcom looking for a digital marketing manager and the listings mentioned work closely with our digital sales team in creating digital ad campaigns for PlayStation, Xbox, Steam promotions, as well as upcoming platforms such as Stadia. And then the Perfect World Entertainment listings looking for software engineer that can port game engines to Google Stadia. So let's start with the Capcom listing. As you guys know, they've been listed as a partner for Google and someone who is supposed to be bringing over some Stadia games, but it's been all crickets on that front. With a library of titles like Monster Hunter World and the Resident Evil franchise, it's safe to say we would love to see some Capcom games announced. I think what is encouraging here is that it looks to still be on track. We just haven't heard of any titles. So hopefully, a certain connect soon will unveil something from Capcom. And as far as Perfect World Entertainment, they have a host of games. From MMORPG genre like the Star Trek Online and Neverwinter, and more recent games like Remnant from the Ashes and the recent early access title Torchlight 3. Out of all those games, I would love to see Remnant from the Ashes, or maybe something we just haven't seen before. But either way, I'm glad to see Capcom is still on board and has not disappeared, as well as a new publisher joining the cloud party, so this was all welcomed news. But segueing to our next piece of news, we finally get a release date for the Stadia timed exclusive. Prada, it's coming July 1st as one of our pro games and well, if you've listened to me blabber on on my live streams every Saturday at 11 a.m. Pacific, you would know I'm not quite sold on this game just yet. A game in which draws heavy inspirations from titles such as Roblox, where you create and, well, the rest of us play. The neat thing here, though, is that we finally get an early look at State Share, which will be in beta. State Share is a link you create within Krata and share it with others, sending them into your game to collaborate. We finally have the early footage here of how it works and it's something we've already kind of had and I've even utilized on my live streams and well, it works pretty good. But I'm looking forward to see the official rollout of it and hope that it's something that going forward we start to see in a lot more multiplayer games. And the last piece of news is going to be a quick hitter as we got a release date for the upcoming indie game Wave Break that comes out next week on the 23rd of June. It's an arcade style skateboarding game with guns, kickflips and explosions set in the backdrop of an 80s crime filled Miami Vice world. You'll be gaining points with combos and tricks. The game does feature a full fleshed out single player campaign as well as the ability to play online against others. It even has boat on boat violence where you will shoot your opponents with a selection of firearms in aquatic vehicular combat. The game does also feature local co-op as well. So this is a game that I think might surprise us quite a bit next week when it drops. Either way, stay tuned to this channel for that coverage. But all right, with all this insane news of games coming and even going, being a Stadia user these days is like being on a roller coaster that you hope has a happy ending and not a fatal fall to your death. I totally kid. Either way, let me know down in the comments your thoughts on the Apex news. Are you hoping for Apex to come? Are you semi-convinced like I am that it's on the way? Are you excited for Capcom and Perfect World Entertainment? As well as the other news in this video, let me know your thoughts as I do read all your stuff even if I don't have the time to comment. It's very much appreciated. Please sub and hit that notification bell. And like always, I'm Sunny, and I'll see you guys in the clouds.